So yeah, they're already using the wood as soon as they chop it. Now we have a few things, so we're just going to chop these trees straight down. Um, you could harvest them, but I find that the food really doesn't do much much good. Um, you can make them into pies eventually, but <clears throat> I'd rather use and just make meat pies. Because, uh, yeah, pretty good source of food. Alright. Now, the thing about, you know, first thing you want you always want to do is make the, the food because your villagers get hungry and don't want to eat. And if they don't have anything to eat after a while, they just stop working. And eventually everyone will stop working and it's pretty much game over at that point. So, you want to avoid that at all costs. Alright, let's finish chopping that down. Alright, I'm going to build the rest of our farms. One, two, three. Alright, hopefully they have enough wood for that. And I'm going to build my other farms over here. So let's destroy this bush, destroy this bush, destroy this bush. And I also want to leave room for expansion <coughs> as I get up in town size because I'll need more. I'm going to chop that tree. I'm going to chop you too. Destroy this bush. Okay. So we're going to till. We're going to make. Mm, Four of each farm first off. One, two, three, four right there. And then we're gonna want it. Oh yeah. One, one, two, three, four. Alright. And that should give us enough room. Same the farms take those farms take up the same amount of room. Take up a three by three area. Alright, they're already making flour. Um, as soon as we get this up and rolling. Alright, we're going to do cows on this side, and pigs on the opposite side. Get that land tilled, guys. Now to make a cow farm, you need cows to actually put in it. Imagine that, right? <laughs> no spontaneous cow generation here. Um, so they'll go and they'll go find cows, they'll bring them to make the farm, and then they'll pop out cows every once in a while, which then my guys can use to make whatever they want. Same thing goes for pigs. Um, I saw chickens, but there's no chicken farm. Uh, maybe that's something that they're going to plan for a future? I don't know. This is still an alpha, so... You never knew. Alright, so once we get once we get our farms made, we're going to increase our static production. What that means is we're going to make sure we have some, some raw meat on hand at all times. We'll want to keep... Uh, about two or three to start with, but as we get bigger, we'll, we'll increase that number as we increase our farm sizes as well. Uh, and then from there, I can also increase my static amount of meat pies, which will help keep my people eating and happy. So it looks like we got one more cow farm to produce. I'm going to hit control and it, ma it makes those fade out. Um, the same thing also happens for walls. Once you've built walls, um, hold, when you press control, it fades out on you. So that way you can see behind them a lot easier. Alright. Alright, we've got our cow farm, so we're going to go ahead and. Oh, we're going to need that back again. Uh, we're going to change our food butchering. We're going to want to keep a static amount of raw steak. We're going to want to do three of them for now. Um, looks like raw pork's already out there, because most likely because of uh, animals that have been killed. So hopefully when my guys go out and try to grab it, they don't get killed. Yeah, you see some combat going on here. I killed the snake crab. Oh, one of my guys just died. Unfortunate. Okay, so we're going to do baking. We're going to keep three static meat pies. Now, I've got a lot of people dying. That's not good. Hopefully, nobody else really... Oh, Brownie Chieftain. Hmm. There's two of them there. Oh, she died. 
<laughs> this might be over before it starts. Um, let's see. To kind of counteract that, what you do is you have personal rooms. Now you create a personal room for each person and they'll claim them and then immigrants move in as you gain more personal rooms. Pretty cool stuff. So I have four people now. They need to be at least three by three but I make them five by five because I like to put walls around them and that way I can mark them out. Um, zones, personal room, I do five by fives here. Let's destroy the bush. Um, personal room. Hopefully we can get a few more villagers in here before I lose everyone. <laughs> That'd be bad. And let's do one more here. Hopefully that attracts people before everyone dies on me. Come on, buddy. Okay, this isn't working out so well. Alright, they're trying to butcher them up. I might decrease that until I get... get a few more people here. Let's just do that to one. And meat pie. Leave you at two. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, cause see, he's fighting again. All right, he killed him. That's a good. Now another thing I need to do before we get too far into this, before I lose too many people, is um, I create armor and stuff. That'll help my guys to live. So let's chop some trees, and you can create armor out of almost every material here. Um, one thing, exception being stone. You can't make stone armor, but you can make armor out of wood. So that's actually kind of convenient. Oh, there's a guy coming up on me. So we're going to pause it. Huh. Apparently I got into another fight. We're going to pause it. We're going to go military, armor, wooden set. I want to keep one of each on hand. So that way they'll start building that. And we're going to go back to weapons, uh, stone weapon, and we're going to make a mace. And then once we get a full set, we can equip our guys with it. And then maybe we won't have so much death occurring. Alright. He's trying to finish the pig farm over there. And he succeeded. That's good. Alright. <coughs> Apparently nobody else wants to move to the town of Massive Death yet. <laughs> so they're gathering the wood, they're gonna make the armor. As a matter of fact, chop some more trees down. Chop these as well. I'm not going to destroy every bush I see until I want to expand because I want the trees to regrow near town so I don't have to run to the far reaches of everywhere to find them. Okay, so I'm going to go get some stone. Uh, I might have to dig some more stone up here in a second. Alright, we've got parts of the armor going on. We're missing the shoes and I think one of them might actually be working on that. Here's the weapon. Hopefully get my guys geared up enough to where they won't die so quickly. Okay, it looks like she's working on the, the boots as well. So since you're such a good worker, yeah, she's making more wooden boots. All right, hold on, pause. Come back here. Um, where'd she go? She's right there. You right click, auto equip. Now I haven't seen auto-equip work after the first time. I think you have to manually equip somebody if you want to upgrade their stuff. So, that's unfortunate. Alright, now if you check her, she's got a lot more defense. Defense was probably around 20. A lot more damage and a lot more attack, so she should live a lot better. So we're going to unpause it. Hopefully they can make another set here. Uh, chop, chop. 
Alright, we've got three meat pines. <laughs> Yetis are killing reindeers. Not very nice of them, but, you know, what can I do about it, right? Alright. It looks like it's barely keeping up with my wheat production here. Yeah. He's taking a nap. Alright. In my last game, all I had to do is, all I had to contend with was froggies, and my, my, my townsmen wiped them out really fast. <laughs> so after that, the surface area was clear. I could just do whatever I wanted. I had free rain. It was kind of nice. Wooden armor. Yeah, see, it's not a huge amount of defense, but it's better than nothing. Okay, and these guys probably aren't going to show up until I actually get some decent stuff around here. That's unfortunate. Alright, we've got... Hmm. How are we coming on that armor? We've got a full set. So let's equip another one of our guys. Let's equip you. Auto-equip. Alright, set of armor and weapons, and then we're going to get it to work on making another set. Now, let's dig up a little bit more here. Mine, stone, 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 and stone. They haven't really gotten hungry yet. They're digging it up. I don't want to dig too close to the river. Going to drown my peoples. Thankfully, most of the water is on one side of the map over here, so as I get deeper, it'll be a lot easier to avoid. Oh, we got the person eating. Our first meal of the day. Alright, we're getting a few animals near town. That's good. It's always good things. Alright, she's going to go take a nap. Alright, we also need to think about beds. Um, could make them out of bones, but right now I don't have bones. So we're going to throw some beds down here. Personal room, personal room, personal room. We're going to throw beds in all of these. Hopefully it'll attract some people. I'm um, going to need to chop some more trees. Right, those are just froggies. They should be able to handle froggies. Now, another cool thing is once I get... We're getting low on meat pies again. Uh, they're going to make one. Yeah, see the one there? <coughs> it automatically does that for me. Um, if you send all your people to do something in one area, then... As long as they're armored and stuff, and they can kick the, the butt of whatever's there, they gang up on them pretty quick. So yeah, he's making the weapon here. Yeah, he's bringing the stone. He's gonna go get... What are you doing, buddy? Okay, I'm confused now. Oh, he's probably out of wood. I betcha. So, do some tree chopping. It's unfortunate that I lost so many so quick, but you get them back when eventually. All right, he's bringing wood back. Uh, it looks like he's making the bed. Yeah, they're still. Still working here. 